Well, I'm sad because football is over. Wah, but wah, wah. what a fantastic Super Bowl, fantastic, fantastic season, goal. fantastic playoffs. Golazo. All around. Besides the Steelers running the Super Bowl, this might be my favorite NFL season Whoa. ever. It was an awesome season. It was, it was an awesome season. season. It was a legendary season, uh, man. And that was a pretty good finale. You know, it was. Great game. Not a blowout. It was good. Came down to the wire. Oh, yeah. That's what we. The most important thing was we wanted a close game, and that's what we got. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well, <laughs> listen. I will I, say I didn't think I care who won, but I'm watching that hey, game. Joe cared a little. I bit. did not want Cincinnati to win. I was <laughs> like, nope. It's just because it's sort of, they're in the AFC North. I was watching that. I didn't think I cared, but watching that game, I did not want them to win at all. Sheesh. Yeah, no. It was it was at one all. hell of a game. Uh, it was a great game. Both teams put up a, a heck of a show. Unfortunately, uh, the Bengals didn't come out on top. Uh, I am not a Bengals fan. My father's a Bengals fan. I'm a Falcons fan. I was rooting for him, of course. Uh, any team that goes to the Super Bowl, any fan base knows if your team loses, it's tragic. It's terrible. Uh, all the Bengals fans, you had one hell of a season. Congratulations to you guys. You guys weren't supposed to be here, and you were here, and you put up a show. Uh, unfortunately, that defensive line was just too much for the offensive line, and unfortunately, they couldn't get anything really going. Um, I thought OBJ going out was a, a huge <laughs> a plus for you guys. I thought, oh, they're not going to be able to do anything else on offense, and somehow they were able to get that last drive with all those penalties and were able to get chance after chance and were able to score that touchdown. And mm-hmm. Again, Aaron Donald, Vaughn Miller, they were just they were too much. They, they couldn't be stopped, and like I said, that's how they won. Congratulations to the Rams. You guys earned it. You deserve it. Uh, who knows if Aaron Donald's going to retire now, but I again, don't I don't think. I don't that think. final drive, I will say that Bengals kind of did blow when it came to the penalties. The penalties. So the one was that was kind of a very soft call. They didn't call anything until that last. Exactly. Drive, that was. That I was, thought they just yeah. shouldn't. They shouldn't have called anything. They were going to call well, either call everything or don't call nothing. Hey, uh, make the tug on the call. Cooper Cup jersey. Was the second good. one, but the first was, one, I disagree. I don't think that should have mm-hmm. been. So, that like, shouldn't have been so in the back of my head, really, like a makeup call to that Miss Jalen Ramsey call makes yeah. a lot of sense because if they don't score there, that's all everybody's going to be talking mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. And that one, uh, that first penalty that they had was a little more subtle. I don't think people are going to be talking about it as much, but man. If the Rams lost, I, can't I would love to see where the ref was standing. That Jalen Ramsey thing. Like, yeah, what? that, dude, that was that was how do you miss that? That was, that was bad. Pass interference calls are like the worst um, in the league. I swear, yeah, the referees just yeah. miss those left and right. But I mean, like it did come down to those penalties, though. Yeah, like, yeah. which is kind of crazy because because there's no it. penalties in that game. That's what's crazy about it. Right. it was, the only penalty was dude that ran yeah. on the field with yeah. his flip flops on. It was third and goal whenever that penalty was called, which they didn't get. So then I was able to be first and goal whatever it went to after that right. but that really saved the rams on that drive and allowed them right. to score um so but yeah but back to what you were saying this is back-to-back years where i feel like a reason why a team lost is because the offensive line wasn't there yeah we've seen it with the chiefs and yeah. now we've seen it with the Bengals. Yeah. Yeah. they, they, they right. tied the record seven sacks yeah so oh, wow. i mean it just goes to show you a lot of people say like a team's offense starts at the offensive line it like does. how important that it is well, yeah, and if you can't block you're going to get yeah. destroyed you don't give yeah. your receivers time to get downfield and but i mean again it, it's the different puzzle pieces too because look at the colts the colts have a fantastic offensive line they didn't have a quarterback behind them they didn't have all the pieces so they, they didn't even make the playoffs yeah. obviously the, the quarterbacks and exactly. exactly. that's I the think the Bengals defense showed up though it's oh, they did, did especially Dude, their, their run game had they're at the Rams average like one point nine yards a carry. Like the Bengals defense mm-hmm. showed up. They, they, held, they actually did very good. They held the Rams offense in check and honestly until that last drive. Cooper Cup, I think, had what like four catches. Yeah. Like, I think it was like fifty yards. Yeah, yeah. Some, something like yeah. you know incredible for how well Cooper Cup did this entire season. They got two mm-hmm. picks, but again, it's just yeah that. That offensive line for the Bengals is kind of where it happened, and I don't think they had enough schemes to to you know. I don't know how to properly say it, but they didn't have enough offensive schemes to counteract that defense. That defense was relentless, and I don't know. Obviously, you have Jalen Ramsey on the outside, too, so you can't just do like a quick slant out route to kind of, you know, get us some traction. I think he but had an off game. Jalen Ramsey? Ramsey? Yeah. I mean, besides that blown call, though, there are some that he just, even at the Bengals' last drive, 
They almost got in field goal range. They Ramsey liked Jamar Chase away. go deep down. Huh? huh? So they weren't scared to go no, away. No, I, I mean, time. like I said, you said it before. It's, easy, it's hard for corners to always just be completely locked down. But corner, the he had an off game, yeah, I the think. The cornerback position, in my opinion, is one of, is the hardest position of yeah. football. I think it's, so. It's also uh, back-to-back years where the home team yeah, has won in their what home the stadium. That? So it goes 50-plus years. Never, like, no one's even hosted it before. Years. And then yeah. they go back-to-back years. Oh. And what? What are the chances 54 of 54 out of 56 years? What was that? Those are 54, 54, 54 years in a row since they started. So it's, in, it's in Arizona next year. <laughs> hey, Cardinals. Well, about well, Kyler Murray. I never know. But hey, the way that's looking, man, he actually might be gone. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that. We'll talk about yeah. that. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe um, for that. But um, Oh, Eli Apple. <laughs> oh, he's getting apart on social wow. media, yeah. bro. McCall Hardman tweeted a picture of like his Super Bowl ring. He's like hey, saying like, "Hey, be better" and everything well, like that. Well, like, to get, so why? The backstory though is so whenever the Bengals beat the Chiefs, Eli Apple tweeted that McCall Hardman mm-hmm. and one other player it might have been Tyreek Hill, and he said, uh, "If right. you guys need Super Bowl tickets, I got you." And yeah, then they're like, right. "Oh, whatever." And then, then they lost. So he pretty and much McCool signed Hardman, up for it. Well, and he, then he tweeted someone out changed ring. the Wikipedia page. If you look up Eli Apple, and it said. Mother, Allie Apple, and father, Cooper Cup. <laughs> <laughs> and then it got, it got fixed right away, but that was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. But he's like on social media, dude. He, Eli he's Apple getting was getting cold. torn apart. Wow. Man, because Eli Apple has always kind of been a meme uh, as far yeah. as DBs go because mm-hmm. he's kind of underperformed ever since he got drafted. Mm-hmm. And then he's, uh, I don't know. I guess he started talking crap like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and he yeah, really he, signed himself he up. He signed up for which it. is weird because in that, he didn't even have a good game that game. Right. Jesus no, I mean Cooper right. Cup scored on him. Like, no, yeah, I'm not he, even talking about this game. I'm talking I'm about say Eli Apple yeah. is just like oh, he's mid. not good in general. Like, yeah, yeah he's that not drop good in general. Should have yeah. literally yeah. won them the game. Yeah, like, he's not. He's not even that good of a corner. I mean, I mean, nonetheless, I mean that's still pretty brutal for him. I feel kind of feel bad in a way, but like the way the way the way he was talking about the beginning though, he started it. So like. And but if you're talking, you got to be able to back yeah, it up. So yeah. another thing too, uh, you mentioned it. Our teams now going to just start trading away their picks and stuff to try yeah. to just go all out. I mean, I it see worked. That happening. I know. And I, I genuinely did not. Whenever they started doing that stuff, I didn't think it was going to work. And now it's like all the pressure's worked. off now. You know what I mean? Like even if they don't want another one, doesn't I mean the goal matter. is too obviously, but they doesn't want matter. one. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. So I'm trying to think who they actually like. Cooper Cup they drafted. Aaron Donald, they drafted. They had those two on the team. Mm-hmm. Traded for Von Miller. Traded for Matthew Stafford. Traded for Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, so we saw the picks again. Yeah. So, and not only that, but we're seeing now that quarterbacks getting traded to teams is working like good quarterbacks. Yeah. Tom Brady, Matt Stafford, seen with Peyton Manning. So I think if the Colts don't go for a guy, they're stupid. Right. Yep. Like they're so, talking about getting I mean, rid of Wentz the, already, so which makes so sense. So obviously Aaron Rodgers is the big guy on the market, mm-hmm. yep. and it looks like Broncos might – Definitely try to pursue Maybe him. Maybe Kyler Murray. I don't know. Kyler Murray could be on the market. Yeah. Russ seems like he wants to actually stay in Seattle. Yeah, now. apparently. Now does, yeah. Talking to Roger Goodell um, on the sideline there. Interesting. The I'm kind of surprised about that, to be yeah. honest. It, it, everyone wanted, like, if it was the Bengals or the Rams, it didn't matter who won because, like, if Burrow won it, people wanted to see that. If Stafford won it, people wanted to see that. Right. Like, they're saying there's no enemy, really. Yeah, right. no, like, the fact that Stafford no. won it, I feel like that was the better outcome because I feel like Joe Burrow will still have his time. Where I feel like that. Yeah, might but we say stuff run. like that now, and then you look ten say, years Joe later, Burr and it might just, not ever be back there. You right. just never know. Yeah, it's easier to say now for sure. That, but I mean, oh, I man. hope he comes back and gets it one day. You know, like yeah, we'll you want everyone to get that ring, but like as long as it's not at the expense of the Steelers. Yeah, right, exactly. Exactly. Stafford, Whatever. Stafford being on the lines for all those years, and now finally getting a ring is like. That's just thought that huge. this makes those organizations look so bad. You know. Yeah. Yeah, the Lions. Even OBJ, like, dude, yeah. Cleveland's even getting trolled right now by mm-hmm. OBJ and stuff. I say I because, mean, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, I feel like I was definitely kind of wrong about Odell. I thought he was just mid and, like, he was past his prime for sure. But whenever he was out there, at least in the first half, so, I mean, ever since he down. got to the Rams, he's been really good. Right. It, yeah. it definitely helps oh, when you have another piece. number one option. Yeah. We, we thought as soon as he was gone, like, yesterday, that they right. couldn't move the ball. Well, that's what I said. As soon as he was gone, I'm like, they're not scoring again. That, had, that's really that what nice, it looked like. He had that nice touchdown. Right. Like, for them, I think they drove downfield and scored, got a field goal mm-hmm. i believe after he got hurt mm-hmm. and that seemed like such a struggle for them to be able to yeah, do I can't that i believe they drove down the field i really can't it no, was all cooper cup either. i know but i can't believe cooper cup. that's that's why it, he deserved mvp because yeah Stafford threw two picks and he was getting doubled up after that let's go cooper cup yeah go cooper i mean cup. stafford didn't throw those two picks i think he would have stafford would have probably got it 
Yeah, I, yeah. I'm honestly, Maybe. I don't know. And like in a way, I'm surprised that he didn't because he still had a pretty good game. Yeah, and normally they give so much leeway to the quarterback. I know, but I, I, I love it though that they did give it to Cooper Cup yeah. instead because you know without him, especially with Odell oh. going out, like absolutely no chance to win. He yeah. won no the game with that catch, right? Like. Yeah, he, he definitely deserved and it. Aaron Donald still, I like to say, on the final drive, came up clutch. I mean, he had the ball that big like, sack. Yeah, yeah. They sealed it. Yeah. I mean, it, relentless. I mean, it was cool to see him, too, like after the game on how much it really meant to him. Because, I mean, I don't think there's anybody that puts in more work than Aaron Donald. And again, he lost one. Oh, no. So. That right. probably even meant even more because right. he lost one. He knew what it felt like to lose. Lost but. one in a game where his defense dominated. Too. I know. And Von so. Miller got another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Von Miller. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I can't believe yeah. it. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, oh, I wow. can't believe that. Yeah, what? so I mean, so what's next for both of these two teams? Obviously, the Bengals in the draft, it's going to be offensive line. Yeah, There's no question about that. They have a team built around it. Right. And that's what they need to focus on. They so. still sh- I don't know what their cap situation's like, but Joe Burrow obviously still on the rookie contract. This is the Bengals' time to like mm-hmm. really try to bring How do you everybody. you realize their defense was like all free agent signings? Did you see that yesterday? There's like seven of them. Oh, really? Of their starting defense was just all signings. So, yeah. They they came out with the odds for the 2023 Super Bowl. Yeah, I saw that. Fandle, and you know who the two favorite are? Bills. And I was Chiefs. surprised by that. Bills. And I just Bills thought and if you win it, the opening odds like you're always. This is the first favorite. year I've seen where it wasn't the yeah. They're team. third, and then was Bengals. Philadelphia after Philadelphia one. I don't think it was Philadelphia. Nah, probably, nah, probably not. Probably not. Probably, probably not. not. That's so. that's fair. But the Bengals were like six, I think. or yeah, something. Yeah, they were down yeah. the list, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It was that was interesting to me, but I don't know what the schedule looks like next year. Like, do you know? Are, no, I is your I schedule know. bad or no? So, because that has a lot to play with it too. It's yeah, a that's, that's schedule fair. I mean, it just shows you that game between the Chiefs and Bills meant that much that they're already favored to. They have the same odds. Yeah, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, that game was awesome, dude. The playoffs in general, besides the wild card. <laughs> yeah. If anybody can think yeah. of a better playoffs that they've seen, like put it down below because I don't and think any other playoffs really compares. Let us know some of your favorite moments from this season. We'll probably be making a video like reviewing our top moments from the season, mm-hmm. reviewing that. Idea. This I like was, that. I mean, this season hands down was, was awesome. one of the best, yeah, if awesome. not the best. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're it was at. awesome. The amount of upsets was insane. A lot Just of emotion. things that happened. A lot it was emotion. crazy. Yeah, and especially with the, the, I mean, we're Steelers fans, and the way that the Steelers made the playoffs, it was just like, yeah, seeing Ben go, it was insane. And yeah, yeah, Ben's last season, Brady's last season, a lot of lasts, yeah. a lot of firsts, probably and, Adrian and Peterson's era. last season too, for sure, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah. hey, anyway, season's over, but we don't stop here. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the draft, a whole bunch oh, of other boy. things on the off season. NFL, 365 days, doesn't stop. So we will days. catch you guys on the next one. Peace.